Hi, I'm Dr. Karthik Gunasekran from Metro Mail Clinic in Chennai. I'm a urologist, andrologist, embryologist, and uh, sexologist. I'm going to talk to you about sperm mapping and why we need to do sperm mapping in azoospermic patients. To begin with, you have to understand that sperm mapping is a technique that was invented by Dr. Paul Turek from the Turek Clinic in the United States. Now, I visited the Turek Clinic back in uh, 2012 and I spent some time there and uh, I learned this technique and I've been applying to patients here in uh, India with great success. Now, you have to understand that in obstructive azospermia, Wherever you do a biopsy or you do a needle aspiration, you're bound to find sperms. This is because the testis itself produces sperms and there's only an obstruction to the outflow of sperms from the testis. But in non-obstructive azoospermia, typically sperm production is patchy. So if sperm production is patchy, in some areas you will have sperm and in other areas you will not have sperm. Now in non-obstructive azoospermic patients, I have seen reports where biopsies have been done which are sperm negative and these patients have been advised to undergo either a donor IUI procedure or to adopt. This is very very sad because we have seen that there is a lot of inter-testis and intra-testis variability. By this I mean in patients who do not have sperms in one place in the testis, the FNA has come back positive in about like 27% of the time and also in patients who don't have sperms on the left side, you can get sperms on the other side. So just by doing one or two biopsies from one or two places in the testis, it does not mean the entire testis has been mapped. So to draw an analogy, if you are climbing up a mango tree in search of mangoes, in some branches you can have mangoes, in others you may not. So if you actually climb the wrong branch, then there will be no mangoes, but you do not then term the mango tree as having no mangoes. So likewise, unless the entire testis has been mapped, you cannot say that the man is azoospermic. So it is very very important that a bilateral extended sperm mapping procedure is done to find out the presence of sperms and then subject this individual to a guided testicular sperm extraction procedure for a NICSI.